and welcome back to Real World Magic, where we make your life more magical. My name is Neil, I'm going to be your magical host, and in today's video I'm making a ghost box like this. Watch this. animation in this is all done by me. I've created these animated ghosty fishy things and I've also put a link somewhere maybe here. Okay so I created an hour long video, yes an hour long video, where the ghosts fade in and out and they swim from one side of the screen to the other side of the screen and their little ghost mouths do this because that's what fish do apparently. It's got some music, it's got some sound effects. If you want to have a look at that, click on this link up here. It saves you from having to constantly reload your phone. And if you want the plans for this, it's available on my Patreon store. The links are down in the description as always. So if you want to have a look at this, then great. Let's go on and actually make the thing right now. Okay, so what we're gonna do first of all is to lay out the tools that we're gonna need. We're going to need a jigsaw. It doesn't work because it's not plugged in. You need a hot glue gun, safety first, which is why I said it third. Probably some clamps, because when we're going to drill some holes in the front in a second, you don't want it moving about too much. T-square is always handy, but you don't necessarily need this if you don't have one. You could make it deliberately wonky, if you want. A steel rule, that can come in quite handy. If all you want is a straight line, you don't necessarily need a T-square, you could have a steel rule instead. A tape measure is always good, because then you can get the measurements exactly right. I'll give all the measurements down in the description as well. A drill, with a spade bit. A sharpie marker. And you're also going to need a mitre saw, which I'll show a picture of just up here, because I'm not going to lift it up and hold it in front of the camera, because that would be stupid. You're going to need some offcuts of laminate flooring. Of course, you could use real wood if you wanted to. This was cheaper, and especially because we're reflooring our office at the moment, we've got loads of this stuff. And some perspex. Of course, this one was splintered, but don't worry about that. I took it out of an old picture frame, so fairly thin. You could also use glass. But if you're going to use glass, don't use it on the mitre saw, like I'm about to show you, because that would be suicide, probably. Okay, so here's how it's done. There it is, just an iPhone. And some perspex. Okay, so this is called the Pepper's Ghost Illusion. I've explained it on several videos before, including this one that I've linked up on the top right-hand corner of the screen. If you want to go check that out, that will explain what the Pepper's Ghost Illusion is. Basically, it's a projection from the bottom. We're using an iPhone here. So if you've got your own phone, you can always load up my hour-long YouTube video that I've linked already, and that way then you don't have to worry about opening up your ghost box and reloading the video on your phone. So the phone goes in the bottom there. There's an angled piece of perspex at a 45 degree angle like that, and so the viewport hides the fact that there's a phone there at all so it looks like a hologram pretty cool very easy very basic but very effective okay so let's start by cutting the wood to length all of the sizes and plans are going to be available to patreon users but if you have a weird size phone or you want to work from your own phone or you don't want to be a patron and why wouldn't you want to be a patron if you don't want to be a patron you can just draw around your own phone and work from those sizes instead okay now what we need to do is to get out the hot glue gun make sure you plug it in though Run a nice long bead all along every side and stick it all together like this. When you get to this point, you might want to also reinforce the joint just with a single bead of glue on either side, just like this. You don't need a lot. And now just draw around your constructed, I guess it's an N or a U shape, and then cut that out as well. And then once you've done that, these are going to form parts of the sides. Remember you remember to work out which one is going to be the side and which one's going to be the offcut. Again, bead of glue across all of this. 
glues perfectly enough to hold it together. You don't need to pin it with nails or anything like that. Of course you could if you wanted to. Okay, so now we're going to be doing this bit around here, but it's going to be larger. And we're going to write the word ghost fish tank. So we need to make sure that, that is going to be big enough. So we're going to need a bit of space there, space obviously around here, and then draw a line about here so that we can then join that up. Get a straight edge. And again, the best thing about this is that you don't have to be terribly accurate because as long as it's roughly right, then the design allows for it. So let's cut this on here. We just need to trim that off and we need to do the same on the other side. So again, there's not necessarily any need to mark it up. Okay, next thing to do is to mark a little hole where you're going to want it. So, using a bit of scrap wood, you need to work out roughly the size of the viewport. And it's going to need to be fairly small, depending on the size of your iPhone or phone that you're going to be using this to view. So you're going to want it around about that sort of size, probably. Not too much bigger than that. And then, we're going to flip it over this keeping our fingers roughly right and we're going to want to mark X is the spot there so that's roughly where we want it so just transfer it it doesn't need to be very accurate again this sort of thing doing it like that so with the drill and the spade bit just drill into the corners a little bit to make a pilot hole. There's one, two, three, and four. And then we just join them up. Like this. And then you've got this hole that just needs to be tidied up a bit. to be perfect but that's not too bad at all I'm quite happy with that we're going to use some velcro for this this is fairly sticky adhesive now the adhesive on this is actually fairly strong but I don't really trust it which is why we're going to nail in some staples staple in some staples nail in whatever I've got four pieces it's probably a bit overzealous but never mind I have four pieces but no fingernails so I'm not going to stick this with a staple, I'm just going to hope that it doesn't come off. And the reason being, that's how deep a staple is, and it might go all the way in, and actually out the other side, and we don't want that. So, I mean, you could bulk it up with cardboard or hardboard or something else. I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to rely on the adhesive and hope that it works. So that's okay there. to do this by eye really. One little tip I would give you though, if you're going to do velcro, make sure that all of the hooks are on one side and all of the felt is on the other, because otherwise if you mix and match it could get really awkward. Okay, and then do a test fit. It'll work. I mean, it's not supposed to hold its whole weight, it's just supposed to hold it so it doesn't fall over, but that's not bad actually. Let's do a test fit, and it doesn't come off, which is good. Of course, if you don't want to use Velcro, you can always use a hinge like this. Of course, I butchered it and used hot glue rather than screws, but this, the principle is the same, and this is fine for just a uh, prototype so you'd slide it up like that put your phone in and then put it down and we've tested this and it works brilliantly doesn't it yeah okay so the next thing we're going to need to do is to add the plastic which is going to make the whole thing work so we'll have to take off the lid or the front of the fish tank and measure up roughly 
that sort of angle. So I think that will probably be all right. We'll measure up with the Sharpie marker. Again, no, no need for actual rulers or measurement devices here. Just cut it about there. Don't forget the goggles, they're very, very important. Make sure the mitosaur is up to speed. This is definitely overkill, you could use scissors. In fact, it might be easier to do that. Never mind. Warning headphone users, this is going to be very loud. True that. Okay, take off the protective film, which is the bit I always love. One side, it doesn't matter, it's absolutely fine if it's only one side. And then just turn it that way, just to make sure that the glue doesn't drift everywhere. And I'm like that one actually. Just make sure the glue doesn't get everywhere. wait for that to cool down now. And then it's nearly finished but we need to write the words ghost fish tank on it in permanent marker so I'm just using a sharpie here to do that. Really not that difficult at all. Of course you could always use a stencil or print something out. Maybe you could even laser etch it if you're feeling really fancy. Then you get your assistant to colour it in. Now before we do the sign off thing, I'm just going to show you the final product once more and you can make this yourself really really super easy. All of the links are down in the description and you can get the plans from Patreon as well. Again links to that are down in the description also. Now before I go, I just want to say thank you ever so much to my awesome patrons. Here they are. Uh, they are wonderful, fantastic people who help out this show and help out this channel and help out all of the things that I'm doing, including making t-shirts and hoodies and mugs and potions, all of that cool stuff. They give me loads of ideas, they give me loads of help financially as well as just helping with stuff. So for example, Chivalrous Tube actually edited one of my videos. Good man, thanks for that. Now you don't have to do that, of course you don't. If you want to just buy me a beer or a one-off payment of any amount, then head on over to patreon.com forward slash realworldmagic where you can support this channel and get loads of free stuff like posters and things like that. All free. Wicked. If you don't want to do that, of course, just click that like button, subscribe, ding that bell button to be notified of future uploads. That will help me out too and it won't cost you a penny. So thanks ever so much for watching. Please do share this among all of your friends and family and even people you don't know. Go up to people and hassle them in the street. Obviously do social distancing, wear a mask, that sort of thing. And I will see you again next time with some more magical awesomeness. But until next time, as always. Three magical. Okay, so I created an hour long ghost fish video. The ghosts swim in and out of focus and not focus uh phase okay so i've created an hour-long animation myself with little ghosty fishy things what's what's this <laughs> please subscribe to real world magic while you're there click the bell button to be notified of future uploads and have a look at all of my social stuff remember to donate on patreon if you really really liked it and I'll see you again next week.